Time to check those creaky comic book spinner racks for horror comics. That's where I first discovered the comic books weren't just for superheroes in bright colors. The House of Mystery, Weird Tales, Unexpected, Dr. Spectre. I could see the horrifying covers and I had to have them all. Let's see what new horrors lie in this week in comic book horror. <laughs> Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Here's what's new in horror comics this week, September 15th, 2021. Night of the Cadillacs, number one, is from Scout Comics. The story is by Kirk Manley and the art is by Rob Pryor. The ingredients of this book intrigue me, and I quote, a high-octane, genre-bending mix of horror, hard action, forbidden love, and street culture. It's a nice mix, and I really dig that cover. It could be something very cool. Midnight Western Theater, number five, is from Scout Comics. The story is by Kalman Andrasovsky, with art by Louis Southard. The final issue of Midnight Western Theater has a gun for hire, hired to take on a chupacabra. More Old West macabre action from this cool black-and-white anthology. It wraps up in this issue. Godzilla vs. Mothra No. 1 is from IDW Publishing. The story is by Mary Kenny and Paul Allor, with art by S.L. Gallant. In this one-shot, Mothra emerges to wreak havoc from a lake, most likely because someone left their back porch light on. So, of course, Godzilla can't be far behind to swat at her. Expect big kaiju action as these two classic monsters collide once again. Hellboy and the BPRD, 1957, Family Ties, number one, is from Dark Horse Comics. The story is from Mike McNola and Chris Robertson. The art is by Lawrence Campbell. This is another Hellboy one-shot. I love these as it tells a strong, full, and compact story in a single issue, distilling what makes Hellboy and the rest of the BPRD so cool. I'm digging the Exorcist-inspired cover, even though it's kind of a cliched image these days. Of course, it involves Hellboy and company showing up for what looks to be a simple exorcism, and of course it won't be. Vampiverse, number one, is from Dynamite Entertainment. The story is by Tom Snigoski, with art by Daniel Main. Someone is killing and absorbing the power of the Vampirellas across the multiverse, so our vampy gathers a bunch of other vampies to take on the threat. Expect all kinds of weird and wild versions of our thong-wearing bloodsucker in this new series from the writer of Vengeance of Vampirella. Porcelain number two is from Ablaze. The story and art is by Maria Lovett. I wasn't able to track down this haunting new series that involves living dolls and other terrors. Have you been able to check this one out? If so, let me know if you think it's worth picking up. I do know the art looks pretty solid, and the story seems to involve people turning into living dolls. That's about it, but it's enough to get me intrigued. Ma, number one, is from Boom Studios. The story is by Jude Ellison S. Doyle, with art by A.L. Kaplan. It seems this is a body horror story where a woman searching for direction in her life enrolls in a seminar on an island retreat, resulting in her transforming into something horrifying. This one is written by a feminist reporter, Jude Ellison S. Doyle. I'm always up for some good body horror, so as long as this one isn't preachy, I'm in. Red Room number four is from Fantagraphics Books. The story and art is by Ed Piscor. This has been the creepiest, gnarliest, and most gruesome comic you're ever going to read. It's about an underground, deep, dark web organization specializing in torture for profit. I've never had a comic nestle under my skin as Red Room has. I highly recommend this one for all who love that icky, horrifying feeling of experiencing something they shouldn't. Top tier horror. That's Red Room in every issue. Well, that's it for this week, folks. What was your first comic book experience in the genre of horror? Let me know what your first horror comic was down below in the comments. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. 
I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed You're doomed Yeah.